The accounting equation, the heart of accounting, lies in a simple formula. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. This is where debits and credits come from. Assets, debits on the left, liabilities and equity, credits on the right. Debits aren't bad and credits aren't good. Debits are left and credits are right. That's all it is. Assets are what you own, inventory, equipment, land, cash. Liabilities are what you owe, like debt. And equity is your net worth in the business, your investment in your business. Now, why are assets on the left and liabilities and equity on the right? I like to think of it this way. Everything you own, assets, which is on the left side, came from somewhere on the right side. It's either borrowed or invested, like liabilities or equity. Own on the left, came from the right. Now, if you increase an account, you put it in its natural place, like assets on the left. And to decrease that account, you put it on the opposite side. So for example, add to assets on the left, reduce assets on the right. Got it? Good. So what's on the left side? Two things. Number one, what you own, assets. And number two, anything that will reduce equity, like expenses and losses, or anything that will reduce a liability, like paying down the debt. So expenses reduce equity, which is why expenses are a debit on the left, reducing its natural position, which is equity right. Oh. So what's on the right side? Liabilities and equity, where the assets come from. And two, anything that will add to equity, like net income, retained earnings, revenue, or anything that will reduce assets, like selling an asset. Ah, so revenue will add to equity, which is a credit. That's why revenue is a credit. And here's a quick tip for debits and credits. Remember, deal for increases with a debit balance, dividends, expenses, assets, losses, and girl for an increase with a credit balance. On the right, gains, income, revenues, liability, stockholders' equity. Okay, let's take some simple numbers and really make this crystal clear. Assets equals liability plus equity. $12 equals seven plus five. 12 in assets, seven in liabilities, five in equity. Let's say you have a coffee shop. You bought inventory like coffee beans for $2. Imagine that. Let's say you have an expense of $2. So you're gonna right away debit expense because equity is down because expenses decrease net income, which reduces equity. On the opposite side of its natural balance, it's gonna be a debit to expense. And you're gonna credit either a liability or cash. So for sure, equity is down to three. Debit expense. Either assets are down if you pay with cash, credit cash, or liabilities are up by $2 crediting a liability. Equity definitely decreases by $2 to now $3, while either assets decrease to if you pay by cash, or liabilities increase to if you pay on account, keeping the equation balanced. So you started with 12 equals seven plus five. Now equity is definitely down from five to three. If you pay it on account, liabilities are up to $9, so it's 12 equals nine plus three. So you got two changes, liabilities up and equity down. If you pay with cash, Cash goodbye, you're crediting cash. Assets are down by $2 to $10. 10 equals seven plus three. So two changes, assets down and equity down.